Hi, Phil Aston here with another album review, and this time it's Hawkwind. And their latest album, The Future Never Waits, and neither do Hawkwind. I feel like I've talked about Hawkwind on the Nasbany Magazine channel a lot. And considering it's a band that has been around as long as I have, but in the early 70s, apart from a few singles and Warrior on the Edge of Time and older friends at school knowing about them, it was much later in life, much later in life, when I really started to dive into the world of Hawkwind. It was, this is your captain speaking, that box set, it's got all the albums in, reviewed here. Just in Time, a six CD set from Cherry Red, reviewed here. And I think it was Sonic Attack, reviewed here. And... Um, the Charisma Years, I don't know if I've done that here, but it's already included in the Hawklord set, Hawk Lord set, which of course came out towards the last year, reviewed here. So all of this has come into my life in the last two or three years, really. So because of that, I feel like the Hawkwind's music and their ethos has slowly ingrained itself into my psyche. So I have a good feel to how this fits into the Hawkwind canon. And so what I'm about to say to you, I don't feel is going to be um, provocative or controversial. It's how I personally feel. And I'm always honest about how I feel about music on this channel. I have to say, I think it's one of the best things Hawkwind have ever released. Um, to me at the moment, it is my favourite Hawkwind album, Bon On. And I, the album's out and... So I'm behind in reviewing this and I've been playing it consistently to see how it fits in. Would I get tired of it? Would I get bored? What, what I'm about to say, am I going to think, you shouldn't have said that, Phil. That's how you feel now, is it? You know, there are some albums that you hear and you think, wow, this is brilliant. And because it's instant, quite early on, you start to get bored of it. And there are other albums that grow over time and get under your skin. This has just been instant and it's still under my skin. This is just amazing. It really is. I'm going to go through a few of the tracks because I think it, I feel it warrants that. The Future Never Waits is 10 minutes and 16 seconds long. There's no, it's an instrumental. And oh my God, is it good. Ambient prog. Just pour in a jug full of Tangerine Dream into this. And in five minutes in, we hit a groove that is just so hypnotic, a bass line that could go on forever. It really, really could. Um, the track is like going on a journey through time. <laughs> if this had been released in 1975, wait, 1985, hmm. 1995, 2005, it would have been seen as one of the best Hawkwind tracks ever. It would be on every compilation forevermore it's that good and no one says a word um it's got it's got again such a groove i shall use that word groove a lot in this review i just it's just brilliant is it hawkwind it would sound well it says hawkwind on the tin and it's it's got all the kind of synths moving and flying from one side to the next and that kind of wind sci-fi sound it's in there it has all the trademarks but it's got modern contemporary and uh, the guy who I'm going to special mention to Magnus Martin, vocals, guitars, keys and bass, who writes a lot of the stuff with Dave Brock. It's just superb. It really is. And then we have a track called The End follows that. Four minutes odd. Short. Quite a punky guitar riff. Um, you know, it's a bit Hawk Lords ish in, place, in places. Um, Darts of dive bombing, synths going backwards and forwards, dreamy keyboards, um, instantaneously just gorgeous it really really is a spoken voice towards the end it's very hawkwind and then we have a song about aldous huxley uh, next four minutes and 38 seconds this is a really moving track because huxley's voice is on it as he starts to realize he's been on an acid trip and 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 there are other voices talking about huxley's life and how he and what they felt about him and what was going on at the time and once while all this is happening Hawkwind are weaving their magic spell with keyboards and synths and layers of stuff going from left to right. It just really, really is very, very emotive. And then we arrive at another song, which is called They Are Easily Distracted, 
written by Martin. And this is another epic 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes long. And this, this has one line of lyrics on it. Just one line, which is right at the end. Apart from that, there's kind of like spoken voices. Again, very Hawkwind. And there's a jazz fusion section in it, which is like piano and bass. And it, it sounds like a saxophone, but there's no mention of anyone playing the sax. So it's probably keyboards. But it's just beautiful. It could be one of my favourite tracks. Um, very laid back guitar solos on it. And it just, it just grooves it really really does then there's another track called uh, rama the prophecy driving guitar um sits behind a wall of keyboards and it is the guitars are like driving riffs but they're they're behind the synths uh, lots of dreamy guitar solos um just a wall of sound it's just fantastic then we have a short track called usb one and again, lots of synths and dreamy guitar solos. It just, everything just fits. Like, like I say, like a journey. And then outside of time, that's Hawkwind, isn't it? Seven minutes and 38 seconds. Again, spoken voice, tinkling keys, a guitar playing across the galaxy. Um, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like the guitars have been played in space. Um, the layers of voices, ambient trance. It's just great and again it's a great great groove it really is um it's a kind of song that if it went on for another eight minutes it wouldn't matter in fact if you went out and made a cup of tea potted around the garden and came in it was still on it wouldn't matter it's it's absolutely brilliant and then was it we've got a song called is it i am learning to live today um which is also well, that's eight minutes long as well Great heavy riff. Um, the synths, the synth. <laughs> I wrote here in my review. The synths are, are spread like butter <laughs> because they are. Because it's just, it's just, it just grabs you and just takes you along to somewhere else. If you're not having a good day, stick this on, and it will just soothe the so soothe your soul. It's fantastic. Yeah, you know, really, really is classic, classic Hawkwind. And then the last two tracks are outside of time, uh, I think. No, it's the beginning, sorry. My notes are all over the place here um, because I got so carried away listening to it. The beginning is a um, spoken voice. And th this is a very apt song. It's a spoken voice about computers. It's about like unplugging and your body just being secondary to what's going on with artificial intelligence and stuff. And it, it, it it's quite a evocative song it really is uh, typical the, the, the well-recorded robotic voices and stuff it goes really it's sci-fi rock to the max um it's very very good and then it kind of this is eight eight and a half minutes long this is also one of my favorite songs um the computers have become alive we must accept them to survive free yourself from the human sack and let your body go liberate yourself from all you lack and let your body go free yourself free yourself bye bye uh, really really cool and then the last song trapped in this modern age is a very short almost poppy type rock song really uh, as we move away from trapped in a place in this modern age and that is the future never waits by hawkwind uh, so, if you're a Hawkwind fan, you've got it. If you're a lapsed Hawkwind fan, is such a thing, can you be such a person? You need to buy it. If you're new to Hawkwind, can you start it? Yes. You can, and say if you're not a Hawkwind fan, but you're a fan of Tangerine Dream and ambient, groovy, rock, prog, sci-fi, jazz fusion type stuff, you will love it. Seriously, you will love this. Um, I am totally happy in recommending this to non-Hawkwind fans. Just people who love great music. An hour and ten minutes of your time awaits when you buy this. Which will just be sunk into this immersive experience that is Hawkwind. Um, I, as I said, it's great. So, buy it now. 
listen to it now, stream it, see what you think. And if you think that I've completely lost it and become too over enthusiastic about this band or this album, then let me know in the comments because that's that's fair enough. Um, but if you've bought it and you think, yep, yeah, it is really good, but listen to the first track. Listen to that first track. Tell me what you think. It'd be great to know. So thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting me. Thank you for becoming a YouTube subscriber or a patron. You get all to see all my videos before they go out in general release and lots of other stuff as well. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Put this on and, and take care and I shall see you very, very soon.